Hey guys, what's going on? Master Al here. So, I'm doing uh, two things. For those of you that prefer to listen to me while you guys are going to work or, I don't know, any place where you guys are not able to watch my video, I'm making you a podcast. For those of you that prefer the video, I'm also making a YouTube video that will be posted on the link here as well so you guys can see me and it's pretty much the same content. So, the title of this podcast is We Can Send a Man to the Moon but we can't lose 25 pounds. And the reason why I want to say that is because people sometimes find it very difficult to lose weight. And losing weight, even though it could be difficult, it is not impossible. Honestly, going to the moon was an impossible thing. But we managed to do that. Flying is impossible for humans, but we managed to find and create things that will help us fly. So when it comes to losing weight, it is not that difficult. You know, I believe very strongly, and I have said this many times, anything and everything we ever wanted to accomplish has to have a strong why. You just not gonna do anything or get out of your or, or, or get out of your comfort zone to do something that has absolutely no rewards or that doesn't bring you any joy into your life. So knowing your reasons, the purpose of why you want to lose weight and always reminding yourself your why. Maybe you want to lose weight because you want to look good. Period. It doesn't have to be complicated. Maybe you want to lose weight because your doctor told you you need to lose weight so you're not an unhealthy person. Maybe you need to lose weight so you don't shorten you know your life expand you know so there is a lot of reasons but the problem with us humans including myself obviously is we many times forget our why our purpose in life or our purpose or simply or, or of the simple things that we need to do on a daily basis and just remember you are the perfect reflection of the choices you have made no more no less if you want better results just make better choices Drinking water, more water, as simple as this. Most people still to this day don't know how much water they should be drinking. And well, here it is. Your body weight divided by two, turn that number into ounces, and that's how much water per day you need to be drinking. Again, if you are, as an example, a 200 pound person, you divide that number by two, that gives you 100. So then put turn the 100, turn into ounces, and how many ounces of water can you drink? Well, 100 if you are a 200 pound person, and divide that times 16.9, which is a bottle of water. So divide 100 times 16.9, it'll tell you how many bottles of water you need to drink per day. So it's knowledge, and knowledge it's again, and I'm gonna see this once again. Knowledge is not power. Everybody tells you that knowledge is power. Knowledge is not power. Now, knowledge becomes power when you execute, when you actually take action. But how many of you know that rule? How many of you know that you just need to drink a little bit more water per day that actually is gonna help you, it's, gonna, it's good for you, it's healthy? And how many of us know that and still don't do it? So there it goes. You have the knowledge, but you don't execute, meaning it's, it's useless. Knowledge without action is just simply just powerless. So again, remember, you are the perfect reflection of the choices you have made. You want better, you, uh, you want better results? Just simply make better choices. It's that simple. Um, so when it comes to exercises, it doesn't matter which exercise you want to do. All of them work. As long as you're moving, you're burning calories. You know, diets, they all work. Everybody now says, okay, the, the, the keto diet, the paleo diet, the this diet, the Atkins diet, the this diet. Guys, they all work. You just got to do them, all right? Uh, instructors, if you have a really good instructor, you know, I'm not going to say all instructors are created equal because it's not like that. But for the most part, if you have someone that's helping you move and is incorporating a few things into your workout, the, the proper things, the proper formula, it is going to work for you. Uh, equipment. Some people think that you have to have this fancy equipment in order for things to work. You do not need to have uh, um, expensive equipment. As a matter of fact, you don't actually need any equipment if you want to lose weight. So I want you to remember that your body alone weights enough for you to do exercises at home, at the comfort of your own home. You know, is it going to become boring after a while? Yes, it is. But are you there for entertainment or are you there to like see results? So of course, if you can spend a little bit of money, invest in yourselves and go to a facility with instructors and other people that are in the same boat as you, I highly recommend that better because it's more motivating for you to leave the house and just go and break a nice sweat and talk to other people that again are struggling maybe with weight issues the same way you are. 
but it is possible. So all of those things work. The thing is, everything works when you work. It's that simple. So it doesn't matter if you go on a diet, it doesn't matter if you go on this, it doesn't matter if you go on a nice exercise program, it doesn't matter if you hire someone for personal training. When you don't do the right thing, it's not going to work. It doesn't matter. You can hire Arnold Schwarzenegger to tell you how to teach you how to lift weights, but if you don't pay attention and if you don't follow his lead, clearly you're not going to learn and you're not going to get anything out of it. So at the end of the day, it really is not up to the instructors. It's not up to your nutritionist. It's not up to that, the, the, the type of equipment that you're using. It really comes down to one thing. It comes down to you. Nothing works until you do. Remember that. So. Here's another thing. So we are around the corner for, for uh, from Thanksgiving. So who cares if Thanksgiving is around the corner? Who cares if the holidays are around the corner? Just remember, one good, great, amazing, in, intense workout, it's not, it's not gonna get you in shape. Just like one bad and exaggerated meal, it's not gonna get you fat. You know, it's a combination of many of those things. So when people says, oh, I can't believe I gotta lose weight around the holidays. You know, the holidays are not there to like, to like hurt you you know they're there to celebrate a nice gathering with your family and friends they're not there so for you to overeat and while you and while you reach a state of being full you keep eating and you keep eating all the things that maybe are on the table and you didn't get a chance to eat them yet you know guys it's not it's not that type of celebration it's not like the world is ending tomorrow it's just a family gathering family and friends being together enjoying time together in this crazy hectic world that we live in so stop using the holidays to say that's the reason why you're gaining weight and honestly why do you eat after you're finished after you're full what is the purpose of it just remember the main thing that's we need to eat to live not live to eat and I think that's what the problem is so again I'm gonna share this with you again if we can send a man to the moon which was at one po a point in our lives, physically and humanly impossible, why is it that we can't lose 25 pounds? So you know the answer is there. We're not doing what we're supposed to do, we're not being disciplined, and at the same time, we're not being consistent with the things that we're supposed to do as well. So if you are anal with the things you wanna do, if you are always reminding yourself of your why, the purpose, the reason why you need to lose the weight, the weight and at the same time you remember that you are the perfect reflection of the choices you have made then you know that in order for you to change those things you have to do the work because nothing works unless you do and if you want to see better results you simply have to make better choices that's it for me today i'll talk to you guys soon until next time see ya